Another footage has been released of the Ukrainian General Intelligence Service's attack on the Pyotr Godovalets gas platform in the Black Sea. The fighters of the main intelligence agency and the fighters of the Dozer unit of the border troops took part in the operation that started overnight. Fighters approaching the platform in boats opened fire from a machine gun. As a result, fire started on the platform. It should be noted that the gas platform, which was under Russia's control until this September, came under the control of the Ukrainian army as a result of the attack. Sea Force naval drones were also used in the operation to liberate the platform located near Zmany Island. Israel troops were deployed on Saturday near the border with Lebanon while tensions increased following the killing of Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah. Hezbollah has confirmed that its leader of more than three decades was killed in an Israeli airstrike in Beirut on Friday. The group vowed to continue its fight against Israel even as Israel's attacks on Hezbollah targets pounded areas around Lebanon's capital. The United Nations says the number of those displaced from southern Lebanon has topped 211,000. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu abruptly cut short a visit to the United States to return home after saying that Israel's campaign against Hezbollah will continue. The war in Ukraine will end in a Korean scenario when after the cessation of active hostilities, the conflict will not have a final solution for many years. This opinion was expressed by the President of Serbia, Alexander Vucic, whose words are quoted by N. Susivo media outlet. In the end, peace will come. Others have already mentioned this, but I'm talking about it for the first time. That is why the fight will be for every village and every city and it will become more and more fierce and stronger. The Korean scenario will be achieved and then it will continue for 10, 20, 30, 50 years without a final solution. Just like North and South Korea were once divided, once a united country, Busik said, 
According to him, although America will continue to fight hard against Russia in Ukraine, for the Americans themselves, the topic of the Russian-Ukrainian war is of secondary importance. Therefore, according to Vucic, America will first and foremost look after its own interests. At the same time, the Serbian president warned against underestimating the Russian army, as has already happened with the underestimation of the Russian economy, which was able to withstand sanctions. Recall from time to time, various public speakers predict a Korean scenario for the end of the war for Ukraine. Some, such as former NATO commander James Stavridis, consider this a good option for Ukraine compared to the alternatives. The Korean scenario is a comparison with the situation on the Korean Peninsula, where after the Korean War of 1950 to 1953, hostilities ceased but a peace agreement was never signed. Korea remained divided into two states, North and South, which lay claim to all of each other's territory and do not recognize the legitimacy of their opponent. In the context of Ukraine, this scenario envisages the cessation of active hostilities but without a final political solution to the conflict. That is, Russia will de facto hold the occupied territories indefinitely, but Ukraine and the rest of the world will not recognize them as sovereign parts of Russia. Russia will also consider Kherson and Zaporozhye its territories, although they will remain under the Ukrainian control.